these fish can survive. What is enslaved? If you haven't really played it, guys, it's this, you know, very easy to catch on to, you know, combat system, simple buttons, system, a simple system that we're used to, such as weak hits and strong hits. And then from there, you know, nothing more, you know, there, there really is no combat expansion. You know, there, there is, you know, rolling out of the way and, and some sort of power ups, uh, and, you know, a lot, and these like random, like, you know, stick shots. But other than that, the game is just straight up, uh, an adventure game. Over there, we're getting closer. We're gonna have to cross this ravine? That's kind of where the gameplay begins. In the beginning, it's just you, uh, and you realize the game is kind of uh, nothing special going on, you know? Uh, but very, very quickly after they teach you how to adapt to the controls and how everything is run, you get introduced to the whole, you know, uh, co-op play. Now, this isn't the, the traditional co-op you're, expe you know, expecting. This isn't two players, nothing like that. It's a single player, but there is co-op within it. Straightforward gameplay, solid combat, uh, great graphics, great visuals, really great storytelling, great voice acting, uh, and you know, that's that's basically it. I'm pretty sure the where they left the game off, and if the game, you know, uh, does succeed by, you know, holiday seasons, then it does sell. I, I do really see an Enslaved 2, you know, uh, in the works. Um, what would I do different? There's just too many things to list. What would I do... Uh, you know, now, I mean, would I recommend the game to people? I'd only recommend Enslaved to people who don't really have any uh, expectancies, like high expectations of the combat being something massive, because it's not. It's, it's really, really minimal compared to other games. But if you're looking for an adventure game with a cool story, great twists, and, you know, just overall just a feel-good game, Enslaved is the title. Gaming Ahead gives Enslaved a respectable rating, and we really hope there is an Enslaved 2 in the works, and if there is, we really hope that instead of having an AI partner, maybe they, they could take it to the next step and have a full co-op game. So we'll see.